Welcome. Today is June 15th, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. So I hope everyone had a beautiful and restful weekend. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to, you know, again present to you uh, my latest bath, bath bombs, okay? So this, okay, is the Namaste, and this is the one that is really good for allergies. And so I have a new batch of those made, and also this is the latest uh, bath bomb that I have created. Okay, guys, so I'm not exactly sure if how this will actually show up on camera. Uh, but this is called Pink Lotus, and it's made from a uh, white and pink uh, clay. Okay, this is actually a different type of mixture than all the other bath bombs, um, and also has uh, pink Himalayan salts, and um, Epsom salts, and other uh, essential oils in here along with almond and coconut oils and guys it actually um it, it turned my skin a little bit brighter <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um and it felt really good it's like um the clays kind of washed my skin it's just like having a spa treatment um if, if you go and get like a wrap you know in a spa that's what it feels like it's like having a wrap on your skin and uh, when you rinse it off it, it leaves your skin feeling um, smooth and silky just like um, as if you just came out from a spa guys I kid you not guys I'm getting good at this stuff <laughs> I'm like dang this shit is good you know so go ahead and take a look at my website um, it's called Pink Lotus, okay guys? And finally, I received a little puffy hearts that is gonna go into uh, the Dream Bomb, uh, bath bombs, okay? So, let's see here if I could, there we go. So here is the Amethyst Crystal. I checked it out. Uh, as you can see, there's like a little bit of light passing through. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Do you see that, guys? You know, maybe. So, uh, I checked the quality of these particular uh, stones because they are more expensive. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, dang, these, these are a little bit pricey. So, um, I got a dozen of these. So these are going to be limited edition, and I'm going to wait until Father's Day, okay, or on Sunday to charge it under the new moon. And once I charge the crystals, then I'll make a batch next week with uh, these particular stones. So I wanted to get a shipment of these puffy hearts first, just to kind of um, do some quality assurance and make sure that they're legit, you know, um, and... They sure are, guys, because these are, these are a little bit more expensive than the rose quartz that I got the last time. So these, these will be priced a little bit different. I think I'm going to price these particular bath bombs $14.44, only because these, these are a little bit more. <laughs> so I hope you guys uh, enjoy that. I think I'm only going to sell 11 of them and keep one for myself okay so the 11 lucky ones okay and that's a perfect number 11 right so let me go ahead and put this away and i'll get started with the channeling
And dear spirit, spirits and universe, and all the powers that may be here, please use me as a clear channel to receive the most truthful and accurate information in regards to the masculines and feminines for today. Please remove all ego from this reading so I can use my discernment so I can interpret messages clearly and accurately. Please bless this reading. And dear spirit, please reveal to me what energies want to come through for this particular masculine and feminine collective. What wants to come through for this divine masculine and feminine? Thank you. So masculines, they're fogged in. Go slow and take time. So masculines, if you're fogged in, okay, go slow. There's no need for you to hurry, okay? And towards the feminine, you're in the flow. What did I say? Everything is smooth sailing. So if you can't see where you're going, don't just go go aimlessly not knowing where where you're at okay just be in the flow it, everything is going to be okay you don't have to hurry you're being protected okay this is a divine guidance okay so i feel like masculines have to trust for today now with the feminines we have fellow travelers support is all around you so i really feel like feminines uh you know you could be surrounded by different people today and wherever you are you're gonna uh be in a path with you know someone who is helpful to you that is the feel i'm getting you know you might be surrounded by some arrogant people but they're, they're not going to um you know interfere with whatever you're doing I feel like you alls are being protected. Wow, this has two. I'll take it. And towards the masculine, this is traveling lightly. Simplify your life. So, feminines, you're traveling, okay? You're talking to other people in a general sense. Some of this could be gossip. Some of this could be uh, like ego and pride from what I can feel. But when it comes to the masculine, you know, don't take your burdens with you, you know, just simplify, okay? It doesn't have to be difficult. That's the feeling that I'm getting. So let me go ahead and see what is the underlying energy with your masculine. What is the underlying energy, please, spirit? What is the underlying energy? It's time to lead. So masculines, it's time for you to take the lead, okay? But you have to go slow, okay? Don't don't speed the process. And towards the feminine, we have Hex. Be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. Wow. You know, you're in the flow when it comes to your feminine. Everything is smooth sailing. And if you're still, okay, if you can't see, Go slow, okay, masculines? This is your guidance for today. So if you're watching this, go slow. Don't don't really uh, don't really do things quickly, okay? And take the lead. If you can't see, be a leader, okay? Control the situation and just be still and let the karmics reveal themselves. That's what I'm feeling, guys. Because I feel like you're going to be traveling slowly towards your feminine, okay? And it feels very calm and peaceful, you know? It, it's it's a smooth ride. And I really feel like there's a, a karmic here who is going to, um, you know, stir things up. That's the film I'm getting. And they're going to reveal themselves masculine. That's what I'm seeing, guys. Wow. And with you, feminine, we have liberation. Free yourself. So, feminines, today is a day of freeing yourself from anybody um, who is dragging you down. There's a positive support that's around you. 
I really feel like this is coming from divine and from actual people, okay? And they're going to help you to really release yourself from attachments, any kind of codependencies, uh, if you've been hanging on to a, a certain situation or an outcome. That's what I'm feeling because, you know, this is a journey. And I feel like, you know, you're in alignment with some people you're supposed to meet along the way. And these are good people, okay? They're there to help you. That's the feel I'm getting. And towards your masculine, we have detox. Guys, y'all know what I'm going to say, right? Cleanse and restore yourself. Simplify your life, feminines. Okay, um, don't don't really, you know, take too much on your shoulders. Take a bath, right? Guys, my latest bath bomb. I kid you not, the whole synchronicity of everything that I create, it, it's amazing. I, I'm just so amazed, okay? So my pink lotus bath bomb, it's a detox bomb. It's good uh, to uh, really uh, clear the, the pores in your skin. So if you have acne, if you're one of those people who have bumps like on your skin like on your back if you can't reach your back and it feels like itchy and things like that get this bath bomb guys okay this is supposed to reduce redness um any any kind of like you know uh cuts or or you know blemishes or anything that you have and reduce your pores it's supposed to um clean out your pores Okay, and um, there's other uh, oils that I put back into the bath bomb that is going to leave uh, your, your skin feeling hydrated. It's going to feel clean. It's like a clean feeling, feeling and um, it's going to leave it really silky and smooth so you don't have to put lotion on after you get out the bath. Okay, guys? This bath bomb, I'm, I kid you not, it's amazing. And you can read uh, all the benefits uh, in this particular bath bomb. Guys, like I wanted something natural and, you know, um, that is really good. And, and also it's good for allergies too, guys. Like seriously, I'm getting good at this shit. <laughs> Check it out, okay? I'm gonna, those are one of the bath bombs I'm gonna keep, uh, you know, until I, I'm not making it anymore so it's not going away but definitely check it out so feminines detox cleanse and restore yourself okay and guys you know get it before the the new moon if you order it and if you're in the United States because then you'll have it by the new moon and you could save it you know for your bath time on Sunday okay I'm just putting it out there okay guys all right so let's go ahead and see what is currently going on in the three live of this mask why are they not seeing uh, too clearly you know I really feel like this mask is in the flow and there's a karmic that is gonna show itself guys we don't have to do anything let the karmic pick it up yeah they try yeah, that's all I have to say but, you know, masculines are getting smarter, I feel. Yeah, this masculine, they, they want to apologize. I feel like this masculine wants to tell you the truth, that they're really working on the situation uh, with you and also dealing with the karmic situation, you know, because this masculine couldn't see. Today could be one of those cloudy days. It could be sunny, you know, for a minute and then cloudy the next, okay? It's just one of those days. It's like they, they think they've grasped something, but, you know, then the clouds start coming out and they're like, oh my God, now they don't know. And they're trying to look for clarity. And actually, this masculine just wants peace, peace of mind, you know, and they, they really want to make it up to you. They're trying to figure it out, feminines. That is what I'm seeing. So they couldn't see. And and I feel like that's a part of this fogged in. This masculine overall is feeling this way today. Okay, guys? And they know that they have to be a leader. Okay, they need to navigate themselves out of this foggy situation. But go slow, masculine, okay? You don't just because, you know, you know, if you do it quicker and faster and better, it doesn't mean it's the best, okay? You know, 
that's not that alpha male way or alpha female way just because you can do it like that doesn't mean that that's the best okay slow and easy okay take it slow masculine take your time that's when you know dang it sounds sexy already but anyway we have clovers, okay? So this masculine is really trying to balance themselves out and trying to make a decision about their abundance. And I really feel like it, it's to really recognize who the rats are, okay? You know, who are the rats in this masculine's life? This masculine is making a decision to work on changing their circumstance. There's uh, some secrets, okay? Uh, maybe uh, there are some karmics that aren't really revealing themselves. If this mask would stay still and let the karmic ramble their mouth, okay, let them spill the beans or, or really show show up and, you know, all the mask has to do is just sit back and listen to what the karmic is saying. Oh, this mask is gonna, gonna see the true colors of who the real karmic is. That's what I'm saying because all they're doing is they're taking. They're going for the ride. That, that's the feeling I'm getting here. Yeah, and this masculine is using discernment. They're looking at things closely now. They're no longer uh, trying to make quick decisions. They're trying to be a leader and, and really strategize and plan for this, okay? Whatever the situation is, whether it's like leaving a karmic situation or determining, oh, the karmic is a fake, um, you know, but when it comes to you, feminines, they're, they're really taking their time. It's like, uh, you know, doing things with a fine tooth comb, like really, uh, you know, going really slow, making observations, okay? Because this karmic wants to come in and, you know, shake this masculine up, but this masculine is going to realize what the karmic is doing. Yeah, because this masculine is looking for a sense of direction when it comes to love. And I see that they want to have a new beginning. And they want a spiritual connection, guys. That's why this masculine realizes that it is time for them to make peace. They, they want to say that they're sorry, feminines. I feel like this masculine wants to communicate to you that they're working on it, okay? You know, especially if this masculine isn't talking to you. I really feel like there is a vibe off of this masculine that they're truly working on themselves before they can make their approach towards you, you know, and I really feel that, you know, they're trying to get some information from their friends. This could be from social media, you know, about which direction that they, they should take in, in terms of love, having a new beginning and making a decision to work on it, okay? You know, this masculine wants to plan something for a long term. They're trying to get guidance, you know. Instead of trying to, to speed things up and go quickly, they're, they're really uh, taking their time to figure things out. Because the karmic, let the karmic do their due diligence, okay? Because the karmic is going to step in when, when the masculine is quiet and still. They could have be, uh, been in a meditative state, because I feel like this masculine is becoming more spiritual. Like they're, they're starting to recognize. They're starting to see. They're starting to hear things is what I'm getting. And when the karmic opens up their mouth, it's like shit comes out. That's the feeling. Because this masculine is looking for something solid and anchored. Something that is going to last for a long time. This masculine is really anxious also about working on this and changing. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting. But they're being divinely guided to really recognize who is in it for the long long term. Who is more stable, you know? They're they're trying to see or they they're actually getting guidance from above to see like who is the better fit. Is it the karmic or is it you? That's why this masculine, if they have been resisting you, feminines, if they couldn't see their way out of the shit that they're in, okay? All they have to do is stop flapping their freaking hands, acting like their head got cut off, right? And just go with the flow. They need to freaking take a salt bath too, okay? And, um, and just, you know, just like really calm down and slow it up and see like where their true north is headed. 
That is the feel I'm getting, guys. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So, feminines, what is currently going on in your situation? What is currently going on with you? What is your energy for today? Because it looks like you're trying to free yourself. You have friends that are really helping you right now. And you're trying to simplify your life by detoxing. So, you're taking guidance, right? You're taking your salt bath, you know? You're, you're releasing things that is no longer serving you. That's what I'm saying. Masculines, they're, they're just now getting it, right? Feminines, you're, you're birthing something new. You, you're very creative right now. And I feel like you have so many ideas. Uh, it makes you feel very youthful. It feels fresh. From what I can see, you know, you want to begin something uh, new, like a job, a hobby, uh, that is going to bring you some sort of stability. So I really feel like, Feminine, you're more focused on yourself, okay? That's the feeling I'm getting. And you see this so clearly. It's like this is actually going to bring you happiness happiness towards yourself and i see that oh my god look at this man <laughs> guys man i don't know but i just posted that thing uh, on my community feed about hauser right like holy shit like doesn't that look like him like oh my god he's ready to offer like a new new cup of love very romantic <laughs> my god um anyways friends you're you're focused on yourself that's what i'm feeling right <laughs> yeah because you become more wise when it comes to new beginnings and making a decision into working on something solid you know i really feel like you're you're planning for something long term you're no longer wanting to invest into short term things like really looking at things logically Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And I also see here that you're really focused on your house. And you really want your masculine or, or someone for the matter to offer their feelings. Okay, so if your masculine wasn't the type to really offer their feelings and, and really offer a sense of a security or stability, that is what you're focused on. You know, you've, you've wisened up feminines, okay? That's why you're cleansing and restoring yourself. You're trying to simplify. It's like, what is it that you really want? You're going back to the basics. You want a person who is going to spend time with you at home and balance you out on a daily basis. Who is going to be affectionate. Who is going to show you emotions. Okay, that is all you want. And, and that is so simple. And I, mean, I feel like, you know, you're getting creative. You want something fresh. You want something new, you know, and you're, you're planning for it, right? You're like, hmm, this, this feels good. I like this new energy. This is what I want, you know, and you're, you're trying to clear yourself and just simplify, you know, like detoxing, you know, all of this garbage that's going on in your head, like going down to the very basics is what I'm feeling. Yeah, you're stripping away things that is no longer serving you. Like whatever old uh, ideas that you had in your mind of what you really wanted, you're really reevaluating re yourself and you're cutting it away. That's what I'm feeling like. No more immature, you know, flighty, hot and cold, you know, uh, energies that you're getting from your masculine. You want a king, damn it, okay? You want a king that is going to offer you their love. <laughs> You want a house. You want, you know, a, a fantasy. You want, you want stability. You've wisened up, feminines. That's what I'm seeing. You know, but that's a block. It's been a block, you know. Maybe you, you haven't communicated this to your masculine. Or maybe you have an issue with communicating your needs to your divine counterpart. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're trying to make a, a choice. And like this new beginning, like, you know, why is this such an obstacle for you, feminines, to have like this new beginning, you know, now that you know what it is that you want? And I feel like, you know, you have a support group, you know, this is your friends, this could be online, you know, that it's time to free yourself, okay? Really liberate yourself from this twin flame attachment is what I'm getting, you know, and really, you know, go across 
that mountain okay so i really feel like you're gonna overcome it you're gonna uh, be successful you're gonna simplify you're gonna cleanse and restore yourself and you know, if if this was a past energy, you're getting over it, feminine. You're really gonna work on yourself, and I feel like it's it's through you, like um, you know, just doing something more. You know, like uh, dealing with your finances, dealing like with a new hobby. Um, you know, just something. You know, because I feel like whatever this creativity is. It's, it's going to strike, you know, some new passion for you to change your course. Because now you can see, now that your focus is totally not on your masculine, I really feel like, you know, you're just stripping it away. You're like, well, you know, this energy isn't really serving me. So why why am i you know stuck on this energy and you're gonna liberate yourself because now i feel like you can see maybe you know your chakras and, and the higher realms is more clear and more open you know guys like i said take your freaking salt bath okay and it, it's gonna help you and if you can't take a bath you know uh take a shower no with some bath salts okay no school clothes. okay buddy <laughs> school's been closed <laughs> and finally we have here a compass i feel like i you're looking for a sense of direction you're looking for your true north you're looking for stability you know you're tired of this instability that you're getting from your masculine you know especially you know if you have been waiting very patiently for your masculine to return after such a long time it's like you know so much time has passed why are you hanging on you know masculine isn't even reaching out okay that's the feel i'm getting masculines i feel like they they're eager to come back towards you but they don't want to do it quickly because it's like you know it's like um you know trying to win a race but doing it blindly without looking you know it's like they're, they're running but they don't know why you know but i do see that they want to apologize they want to make peace with you feminines because there is an abundance that they know that they can have that this karmic isn't really offering i feel like this masculine realizes that the karmic is actually taking more than giving or contributing towards the masculine it's like masculine's like you know my feminine wasn't like this if anything my feminine contributed they didn't they didn't take and there's a karmic energy around this masculine that is taking and this masculine is is really looking at it they can see very clearly now okay what is it that they wish for and you know they're talking also with their friends they're also going on social media they're looking for something solid guys okay but they're afraid they're afraid to jump they're afraid to to be uh in control is what i'm feeling they just have to be still and see that the the karmic is what they need to get away from they're fogged in they can't they can't see today but i hope that this mouse gun can just be still and see that is what i'm saying because feminines you can see and you know what, where you want to go and it's not with the masculine at least not today i really feel like you know you really want if you want your masculine you want your masculine to stand up for themselves to make their presence known once the masculine has come to awareness of what this connection is the masculine will no longer run and they will come running towards you they will come get you and they don't want you to be with anyone else until the masculine is at that point the masculine is not awakened they don't realize you know what they're losing you know if anything you know they lost so much dealing with this karmic energy is what i'm seeing guys that's what I'm feeling. This masculine realizes that. That's what I'm getting. So let me go ahead and see. What is the energy of this masculine towards you, feminine? How are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What is it that this masculine wants to do? What is it that they want to do about the situation? 
what is their challenge and what is the outcome thank you wow they know that they missed a, a chance yeah, they're like man what a fuck up man you know and they know that they didn't uh, end the cycle with you. They know that they have to close out a cycle in order to be with you or come towards you or travel towards you. And they're not communicating this to you. I feel like this masculine's holding back. And it's because they don't know how to apologize or they don't know like what's the best method or ways to kind of do this. You know, possibly because there is some time that has passed between uh, the last interaction between you and, and this masculine is what I'm getting. And also they might feel like they might not have uh, enough to really offer in terms of feelings. And feminines, you know, that is what you're looking for. You're looking for a stable home. You're looking for, you know, a person that you can come home towards who is going to offer you feelings. That is all you want. That's going to balance you out. That is what's going to really, you know, tie you in. You know, if the masculine doesn't have this much, you're like, mm, I need to find this, you know, it, you know, because you're you're well aware, feminines, that that is what you're looking for, and you're cutting away things and situations that's not really serving you, and you're looking for that direction right now, because I really feel like you know you want something new, and this masculine has fears that you know, I don't know, man, you know, they 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 fear. that they have to get out of this tricky situation with the karmic guys okay some of these masculines are still with a karmic situation and yeah i feel like they're looking for something more traditional maybe they fear commitment okay or maybe they fear that you know they need to get out of a situation they're trying to figure it out and they're really defending themselves you know it's like everyone against the masculine you know they feel like they're all alone they feel fogged in. That's the film getting. And they they want to get out of this energy of feeling trapped, you know, of feeling hurt. And they want to get out. That, that's what I'm feeling. It's like they're, they're tired of being in this energy. And they feel like they don't have everything to to do it. You know, and, and that's, that's a cop out, man. They do, okay? It's just that in their head, they today, they really can't see their way out of whatever situationship that they're in. Because I definitely feel like for, for some of these masculines, there is a karmic energy that, that keeps surfacing up. And honestly, it feels sick. The masculine is actually seeing that this karmic just takes every damn thing. They don't, they don't really give anything. It's like masculine, you know? Uh... I need this today I need that you know can you help me with this you know so I can go X Y and Z and masculine is like what <laughs> I need money you know and I'm like oh my god so this masculine I really feel is making a decision okay they're, they're really thinking you know that they need to get out of this toxic um, energy that they have okay or that they have been fogged in with right so they can be single so they can be independent so that they can be by themselves perhaps this masculine i really feel like they they're not really truly by themselves maybe there's a karmic energy that's always like trying to hang on is what i'm feeling they, they just want to be independent they want to be like you feminine okay and yeah, there's a karmic that is, you know, kind of needy is what I'm feeling. And they're so ditzy, guys, okay? This this karmic can't think for themselves. They're not like an entrepreneur like you, feminine. They're not business-minded, you know? They're, they're kind of like ditzy. That's the feeling I'm getting, like clueless, okay? That's the feeling. Clueless and acting helpless and like they, they don't... And they thought it was cute, guys, okay? It, it's not freaking cute. 
It's stupid. <laughs> and this mask on is now seeing that. They're like, what? What in the world do I have in here? Is it a bug? You know, is, is this like a, an insect or a rodent that that I, I'm stuck with? Like, is this what it was? Like, this person just keeps taking. They don't know how to give. They eat too damn much. No, I'm playing. Whatever the case is, guys, you know, I really feel like, you know, they're seeing something. And that's why they're holding back. You know, I really feel like families are holding back their feelings because I feel that in the past, this masculine did not reveal that they wanted this new beginning with you and they gave it towards a karmic energy. And that's the feeling I'm getting. And now this masculine is watching you. Okay. Like I said, I feel like they're, they're either watching you. Um, they're talking to their friends. <clears throat> I also see that, you know, they have hope that something will change and I feel like they're they're establishing this hope with their friends, you know, looking for guidance. They they want something solid. They they're trying to weigh out their options. Okay? And feminine this masculine wants to come back. They really want to reconcile with you. And you know what? Starbucks is open. <laughs> they're like, "You want a cup? Let me go grab you one." You know, this masculine is thinking that, you know, every time when they plan for something, it never works out, you know, and they really want to leave the past behind. You know, I really feel that, you know, feminines, this masculine wants to come. They want to offer you some, some peace, okay, that they're leaving a karmic situation and this masculine wants to communicate this much to you. That is what they're thinking. So how are they feeling? They're feeling like it's time to give you something, okay? It may not be much, but it's something. And they know that you're worth it because you're so creative. You're so beautiful. You're everything. And they admire that you're you're that type of person. That is what I'm feeling, guys, right? You know, and plus, you know, if you guys are into, like, strawberries and stuff... They probably want to eat you up, okay? I'm just going to put it out there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And <clears throat> what is it that they want? <laughs> they want clarity. They can't see. They're fogged in. That's why they need to go slow. They want, they want to see, you know, they want to see clear, you know, about the direction or what their intentions are. That's why they're not rushing towards you. But they know that it's time. Because I really feel like this masculine knows that you're, you're slowly slipping away. And they're, they're finally letting go. Maybe they're letting go of their, their thoughts, their expectations. Uh, you know, letting go that maybe they don't know everything. That's what I'm seeing. What is it? Uh, what are the actions they're going to take? We have here three of swords. You're really broken hearted, guys. Okay. Uh, possibly this is an ending towards a third party situation or they're currently going through it. It's fresh. Okay. And yeah. And I feel like, you know, somebody got cut out. You know, this whole energy of this masculine, the masculine did this, okay? They're the ones going back and forth between the feminine and the karmic situation. But, you know, some of these masculines, they don't even talk to you, okay? They could be doing this in their head uh, without you realizing this, feminines, that, you know, they're hurting themselves by keeping themselves so stuck in third-party situationships. Nobody wins from the situation. And this masculine is realizing that. And I feel like this masculine is going to try and put an end towards this energy. So what is it they're challenge their challenge is to be happy you know to celebrate to come together uh you know to have a, a family you know and to create something new and feminists that's what you want you want to create something new and this masculine is really stressed out about their long-term stability they're like damn this karma keeps taking so much how am i going to have stability if that's all they do 
you know, they're not even like giving into the situation, right? And this masculine, you know, they can't make up their mind. They need to make up their mind. Masculine, come on, man. You know, if you can't make up your mind about what makes you happy, all right, take your time. If you can't figure it out, just take your time, okay? There's no rush. I mean, you, you took this much already. I mean, damn. <laughs> Something. So what's the outcome? They're di disappointed, okay? They're disappointed. They're really sad, you know, boo-hoo, you know, whatever. And then they're going to end it. They're going to go through an ending so they can have a new beginning, they're going to put an end to this third party situation. So this masculine is actually real time grieving over this karmic situation. Also, this could be you. Maybe this masculine realizes that they hurt you in the process because they chose a, a karmic who was a rat, who, who was just taking. They weren't really giving into the situation and it made matters worse for this masculine, right? And now this masculine is thinking, would you take them back? Now the, the, it's like the point of no return. That's what I'm seeing, guys. This masculine, they they're so lost, like they can't they can't see. It's like they're drowning, and they feel like they can't go to the surface to breathe. That's what it feels like, and they're like flailing their arms. They're like, oh my god, and then their arms get tired. And they're like, am I gonna make it to the surface? They feel like they've gone as far as they could. Maybe you won't take them back, feminines. You know, that's why they feel like, dang, they're, they're really anxious over here. And more than anything, this masculine wants to apologize to you. They want to tell you the truth. And it, it's been weighing on this masculine's mind to do this. They don't feel good, guys, okay? Today, this masculine doesn't feel good. I honestly feel like they're, they're seeing the truth of, of the karmic. About how the karmic wasn't really beneficial for them. Okay, if they were so logistical and logical in their minds and they were thinking out of their head and not from their heart, that is what I'm seeing. They were ignoring their heart from the feminines to begin with and went off with the karmic situation trying to ignore what their true feelings were. That's what I'm saying because the karmic, you know, was like, masculine you know they probably buttered them up and and it was all facade right and now that they're all stuck in this karmic situation they're like fuck man now i have to find my way out <laughs> that's what i'm seeing that's what i have for today for the masculine so let me go ahead and see what is going on with the feminines feminines what is your energy towards the masculine because you have a whole new direction okay i definitely see that you're you're looking you're like where is your true north so this this is a bonus card okay it can go any direction it's spinning it's like feminine you're trying to figure it out what what brings you stability what are you gonna choose when it comes to love you're, you're still figuring out there, there's no uh, permanent choice when I can see but you're definitely thinking about it. it's very heavy on your mind today so let's see yeah feminine you're thinking about this third party situation you're like you know what if this karmic you know won't leave I guess I'll have to take matters into my own hands and you feel stuck in the past you're like dang you know it's always me you know and you're you've been meditating on trying to hang in there it's been one of the hardest most difficult painful things that you had to do while you're sitting here watching your masculine you know um be with them in the physical you know taking up you know space you know uh right next to them right it's like what about you this hurts this hurts that the masculine isn't with you. They haven't chosen you. You know, that's the feeling I'm getting. And you just want the truth. You want the truth that you want, you know, this uh, closure. You want a new beginning. Okay, guys. And I see here 111. And you want to reconcile. You want to know 
Is there going to be a, another opportunity between us? Because this is what you're thinking, feminines. The uh, feminines, masculine is thinking, it's over, man. You know, they're 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 sitting here like, how in the world that will the mass uh, feminine take me back after all that I have done? How how will they take me back when it's over? I put an end to this situation. There's no going back. You know, they're, they're thinking worst case scenario. They're thinking that you guys will never, ever reconcile because this masculine don't feel good about what they have done. And here you are, feminines. You still have hope. Okay, you still have hope. You're hanging on and you're releasing, you know, this attachment towards your masculine. Possibly attachments to outcome. And you're bored. You're like, you know what? If the masculine isn't coming... You know, you, you still have space in your heart for your masculine, but I feel like, you know, you're, you're, you're going to follow your guidance because what you want is someone that you can spend time with at home and someone who is going to give you loyalty and affection. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, because you feel like you weren't the chosen one and yeah, your masculine didn't come. Okay, they cut you off is what I'm feeling and you know all they they came for was sex Okay, and you're you're tired of this third-party situation. You don't want to be you know the secret The other woman or other man, you know, you're just tired of it, you know and you possibly you know you couldn't really see these two clearly feminines you know that that that's what it was but you were probably blinded because you were so in love with the masculines and you had hope and you had faith that things would work out between you two but the masculine they weren't awakened okay and you know you weren't too at the time okay maybe you thought you were but you weren't also and i see that you're really working on yourself because now you're finally realizing what true love is you know self-worth and self-care thinking about yourself now now that you're a boss boss man or boss woman okay you're doing things for yourself and it took time okay this doesn't come easy you know that's why we call it a twin flame journey okay and you know, you, you don't want to, you know, go in and out of your masculine's life. You want stability. You want a man or a woman who is going to offer their feelings, okay? Feelings. They're going to come with flowers. They're going to say, babe, you know, I'm sorry. I love you. And this person could have like a full sleeve tattoo, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. And, you know, if they come out with this picnic, look at this. This this, this is what you want, feminines. I kid you not, okay? And they could look like this guy, too, okay? Like, I don't know, guys. <laughs> where, where was that, mister? <laughs> Over here. This has that red, red uh, picnic table cloth and this red robe and red flowers. Like, hello. You know, I feel like, you know, this person, you know, coming on their white horse, you know, it's like, where is that person? You know, are they ever going to come? That's what I'm feeling. Now, this person is looking romantic. Now, look, this person has a meditation singing bowl, too, down here, you yeah. know. They're coming in here with their wine and grapes. They're going to feed you grapes, guys. Wow. And they have a letter, you know, they have a letter prepared for you. That's what you want, feminine. You want, you want a letter. You want communication. You want honest, clear communication. You want heartfelt feelings, okay? You want, you know, a, a, like a physical sense of your masculine wanting to be next to you. Because I really feel like, you know, you're not feeling it. You're not feeling, you know, that this sense of traditional thought, you know, like, will it ever happen for you? And you're thinking, you know. You're forecasting. You're planning. Maybe, you know, when you change, <laughs> you're going to have to change and be this queen of pentacles. That's why I feel like you're feeling really creative and the physical, you know, really working on yourself and your independence. 
Okay, and you know, I really feel like you can't really see what the future holds, but you know, you you want to be clear. You, you want to cut out the bullshit. You know, you want to be, um, you know, surrounded by like-minded people. You know, not people who who hide stuff from you, because you you want the truth, and you see this very clearly. That's what I'm saying, friends. You know what you want. You know, and you're not going to sell for less. And honestly, feminines, if if you don't get that in the physical, you know, of what your your true value and true worth is, if you're if that's not being reciprocated with you or towards you, you're not going to settle. You're just going to be doing you, okay? Yeah, because you are this queen of cups, okay? Your thoughts towards your masculine is you still love them. And you would still give them a chance, okay? And you know you're you're ready to you know work on things really bring some reciprocity but only if the masculine is ready to give back okay masculines is actually wanting to leave the past behind because they feel like you know they didn't invest correctly okay into the situation how are you feeling we have the magician you feel like maybe you know this won't happen and you know you have some fears, feminines, you know, you're, you're really worried, you know, maybe masculines manipulated you, maybe they used you, maybe this will never come into fruition, you know, you have like these thoughts in your head, even though you still love your masculine, you have some insecurities and fears about the situation, and, you know, I feel like you're facing yourself about um, what the masculine has done towards you in the physical. So what is it that you want? You you want to be happy. You're not happy. Okay. You're not happy with the outcomes. You're not happy with your reality. You, you know, it's like, you know, truth be told. Okay. Stuff ain't working out. <laughs> and you feel like you're being juggled. You feel unstable. You don't feel balanced. You want balance. You want stability. That's why you want... Everything about the feminine today is about stability, okay? So you're going to reset. You're going to detox. You're going to clear out the clutter. You're going to take you a bath, right? Get your head on straight, feminines, okay? And once you, you take your bath, you're going to write down everything that you need to strip away. And it should just be like a sentence, Whatever that, that matters to you the most, strip everything else away because nothing else matters. Nothing, okay? Because nothing is everything. It's all encompassing, you know? But you have to know how to meditate and sit in stillness to come into that particular awareness, okay? So what are you going to do? So you're going to uh, cut off this uh, long-term goal that you have with the masculine. You're being realistic, okay? Masculine, they didn't give this to you, so you're cutting it off, you know? And for some of you feminines, if you're in a relationship with a karmic or a soulmate, I feel like you're ending it, okay? You're not happy with where you're at. You're juggling yourself, okay? And you just feel like maybe you don't have enough to break away from, from this uh, legacy that you're stuck in, especially you've been married to a karmic or a soulmate for such a long time. That's what I'm seeing because who do you love? You know, but also it's like, how, how could you leave the situation, you know, if your masculine isn't even showing up? It's like, you know, do it for yourself, feminines, okay? Don't do it for your masculine. Do it for you, okay? You know, and I really feel like, you know, you're not communicating this towards your masculine. You're holding back. You're refraining from saying anything. You're keeping your intel to yourself, but, you know, what I'm seeing is that energetically, it's like there, there's you're cutting things off. You're doing it for yourself. So I'll give you that much, okay, Feminine? So what's your challenge? We have here Page of Wands and Reverse. I see that you're not ready to talk. You know, you need to work on it. And I really feel like, you know, 
you don't feel like your masculine is coming. You're thinking negatively. Well, my masculine isn't coming. You know, I'm not happy with the current uh, situationship that I'm currently in. You know, don't rely on the masculine, you know, to make you happy. You got to make your own dang self happy, okay? Just because the masculine isn't jumping doesn't mean that you don't jump. Jump, damn it. Jump. <laughs> Because you're trying to look for a sense of direction. You don't know what to do, feminines. Follow your your, your, you know, your guidance, okay? Your heart. Follow your heart. If you're not happy, why are you in it? Your kids will understand, okay? I'm a true testament of that. I've been divorced for 15 plus years. I, I lost count. And my kids are fine without their biological dad, okay? Like, seriously, guys. You don't need to stay married, okay? And I'm not asking no damn child support from my ex-husband either. He can keep that shit and go somewhere. That's how much I don't care, you know? You can do it, feminines. If I can do it, so can you, okay? I've been single for a long time, you know? Guys, if I was in a relationship, I don't even know what to do. Seriously, I don't know. The last time I was in a relationship was a long time ago. I don't even know if my mask can consider us being in a relationship. And if that doesn't count, it's been years. <laughs> and it's been like over a year since I've last seen him or talked to him. It's been a long time, guys, okay? You know, and prior to that, I've waited for him for two years to meet him in person. And at that time, we were 7,000 miles apart. You know? And before then, I don't know, guys. I think it's been five years since I've been in a relationship. Five years. I think so. Five years. But anyways, that's what I'm saying. So what's your outcome? Feminines, you know, I really feel like, you know, you're attached to something. Or maybe you want a, a relationship. You want something long term. You don't want to be single anymore. You know, and I really feel like you're holding back your feelings. You're repressing your emotions. You're holding back. You're holding back that maybe you you don't want to be alone. You definitely want someone with you. You're tired of being independent. You want you want marriage. You want a relationship for crying out loud. You want to settle down, but you're holding back. Because you're not getting this relationship, guys, you know, I just feel like because the masculine here and the outcome, okay, they're sad and disappointed over, you know, a third party situation. They ended things, right? They're afraid of coming back in feminines. You're like, you know, you want a relationship. You're holding back your feelings and you feel like you've been rejected. Even though that the love is there, okay? The love is there, guys, okay? with Between you and the masculine, the cups are, are standing over here, but you feel like it's all poured out. But you're still hanging on, feminines. You still love your masculine, but you don't know what to do. You're, you don't know. So you need to detox and clear your energy, free yourself from outcomes. If this uh, relationship is meant to be, it will in divine timing, okay? That's what I have. So let me go ahead and pull some guidance. Let me do some, uh, let me do Kuan Yin because this one is, I feel like y'all need something, okay? Y'all are kind of feeling dumpy today. <laughs> It's Monday, guys. It must be one of those days. Dear Spirit, what is the guidance that this collective needs to know at this time? What is the guidance message that this collective needs to know at this time? What is their guidance? Please do. Dynasty of the Divine Mother and number eight. Wow. Well, let's see. Let's check it out. 
Okay. The only wish of the Divine Mother Goddess is that all beings be spiritually free. The Divine Goddess calls us to realize our true nature, to fall in love with our own divinity. Enlightenment is accumulation of many small steps. Each one is a drop of water forming a divine ocean of peace, realization, love, and unity within us. An ocean that washes away fear, separation, and scarcity, and bathes us in abundance and blessing. You carry the torch of enlightenment within you, beloved. Let it shine each day. Guys, this this little passage is so powerful already. Okay. First of all, what I was getting is that feminines, you need to free yourself, okay? Liberate yourself, okay? Because your thoughts, okay, is you need to free it, okay? If if something is really heavy and really weighing you down, observe it and let it go, okay? You know, because that's why I love Buddhism, guys, okay? That's one of the reasons why I I test the, the teachings or the principles of, you know, that particular philosophy. Because when you free yourself, you liberate yourself in your mind and, and things become more lighter because everything is temporary, okay? Also, with this water reference, okay, what did I say, guys? take a bath the salt bath will help detox and clear your energy i am not kidding okay it is going to clear your auric field it is going to leave you feeling light and feeling good and i guarantee you and once you know you take um you know uh like a salt bath you know um either with my bath bombs okay guys if you've used my product Please go back to my website and write a review. I want to hear from you and, and let me know what you think because I'm a true testament. I've tried and think back palms, guys. I feel good. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but anyways, you know, a drop of water farming into a divine ocean of peace, realization, love, and unity within us okay is an ocean that washes away the fear separation and scared uh, scarcity that bathes us in abundance and bliss guys okay guys this is so beautiful all right moving on sometimes we imagine enlightened beings to be another species to everyday humans Yet there is an old Eastern saying that goes, Before enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. After enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. Enlightenment is made manifest through the small actions we take each day. Sometimes the smallest action can feel like an enormous leap. And yet when that action is taken, we realize that the journey into peace is something we can choose to take at any moment. Exactly! you it, it's all about your decisions your your mind it's free will okay you could be stubborn as hell okay stop being so damn stubborn and just release and let go and go with the flow masculine you know flow onto your feminine man like why are you resisting something so beautiful it, it doesn't make any freaking sense to me guys you know this masculine's missing out that's what i'm saying and feminines you are too because you're yearning for something stable you want love and masculine is resisting a true love connection because why they have difficulty in expressing their feelings okay let's see what else the dynasty of the Divine Mother is her spiritual legacy, her endless compassion for human suffering, and her intent to lift humanity out of ignorance into peace, which shines in through the Oriental goddess like Kuan Yin, Green Tara, and Mazu. This oracle indicates that your spiritual legacy is important on this planet. You are a channel for the dynasty of the Divine Mother, for the enlightenment of all beings. We contribute to the Divine Mother's dynasty through the choices and creations from the inner thoughts. We hold on to the projects in which we invest time, energy, and money. Guys, this is all about the feminines for today because feminines, you're, you're feeling really creative, okay? It's that little child card. 
you're feeling like this you're birthing something new you want you want you have like this energy okay of a green tara or this divine feminine energy okay like you you are this energy okay you have the choice and creation from the in your thoughts to hold on to projects where you invest your time energy and money and these become a part of the spiritual legacy we pass on to generations to come this is so beautiful guys okay where, where am i the divine mother now guides you to realize that your soul is moving closer to personal enlightenment and is beginning to live it from moment to moment the more you choose to notice and appreciate these moments the more they will happen for you you are actually manifesting this feminine okay it is a realization of your own process of realizing taking place it is very exciting and yet it will not take you away from the world or your loved ones as you might have feared subconsciously beloved it will simply make your light stronger bringing blessings and peace through you through your being into the world and your relationships each day guys like again okay like my bath bombs okay <laughs> I, I I don't know I don't know how many times I bring up these bath bombs yet, because that's that's the only way I can prove it to you and use it for my example. I have been creating these bath bombs, you know, so that I could help you guys. And because of my sincerity and because I I am truly you know a loving and wanting to help other sentient beings through through my creation or my creative works. I am being blessed guys this is a blessing and universe makes everything happen in divine timing it's like you know everything is flowing okay it's it's like I'm in a vibrational alignment of this flow of this energy that is coming you know towards me and vice versa with you and so like as you can see you can apply it for yourself what creative works you know have you been working on okay whether it being art poetry singing you know your dance you know um you know whatever talents that you have okay whether uh you're doing hospice you know uh you know humanitarian uh you know things you know going to like a non-profit organization whatever it is you know that you're you're really good at doing to partake to help you know uplift this planet and and whatever it is that you do you're gonna be in an alignment and it's gonna make you feel good okay and you're gonna get that love you're gonna get that love that you have been wanting feminines okay it doesn't have to really come from this masculine if this masculine isn't ready to give it to you until this masculine has truly awakened okay to be the divine masculine they will come but they only come once they're aware and they're awakened and they realize who you are and i really feel like they they are in awareness because this karmic keeps showing themselves up it's like why is this masculine selling for some 3d low vibrational creature okay when they can have a, a divine feminine who is goddess like okay who is vibrating you know up on that level that frequency that that masculine wants to go in the flow with they can't see for shit, guys, okay? They're fogged in. You know, go slow, masculine. Take your time. Figure it out. Okay, row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Aimlessly down the stream, right? You know, go in the flow. Go in the flow, masculine. You know, and that's so funny, guys, because I was watching Hauser earlier before I did this reading. He was on a raft. <laughs> Sorry guys, this whole water reference and waterfalls and I don't know. Go on the flow, okay, that's all I have to say. Everything is smooth sailing when you are in the flow or in alignment toward your feminine. Okay. This masculine feels like they're they're sad. You know, it's like they're they're disappointed. It's like boo-hoo, you know, they, they did this and they feel like they, they can't have another chance with you. 
they they need to change okay they need to be in, in this alignment okay your personal enlightenment will help the planet in so many ways you become a stronger spiritual light to which others can look and so that they can find their way more clearly guys guys i can't you have fellow travelers, feminines, okay, people, you're, you're leading the way, you know, and, and there's people along the way that's going to help you, okay, because you're, you're in that alignment of the flow. Masculines, their energy towards you is that they need to go in the flow, okay, and everything is smooth sailing, you know, because they, they want to ride that, that boat, okay, they want to be with you, and they're working too damn hard because they can't see they need to go slow and take their time so that they can see why because they need to take the lead they need to be a masculine they need to be an emperor okay they need to stand in their power okay stop being a pussy <laughs> be a man <laughs> or an alpha female okay you know and they just need to be still because this karma is going to show up Okay, and this mask is going to see how the karmic is, okay? And they're going to compare, you know, you and the karmic. You are being asked to surrender ideas about what enlightenment may look or feel like and realize where it is already emerging within you. You will also receive guidance about your spiritual practice on a daily basis soon, guys. I kid you not, guys. You're, you're going to get this from spirit. So if you're in alignment, if this message, if this reading is uh, is you, okay, if you feel like this is you, feminines or masculines, okay, pay attention. You may be drawn to meditate in a different way, to work with sacred words and prayers, Tai Chi or Qigong, healing arts, or to get acupuncture or massage more regularly, okay? Hence the reason why, guys, okay, bath bombs, okay? If you can't get that, do the bath bombs. Listen to your heart. It knows unity and it has the seed of enlightenment already within it and follow your inner guidance this is the luminous pathway to divine realization and living your everyday enlightenment the divine mother has gratitude for you as a part of her spiritual legacy a member of the dynasty of the divine mother this card is also guidance not to fear if your spiritual path appears to be losing some focus to matters in the day-to-day -day world your spiritual focus will return when the time is right. But for now, look to what is happening in your life as a spiritual practice and trust that you are progressing with perfection. Enlightenment doesn't have to happen in an obviously spiritual place. Our life can be a temple for our soul growth if we are open to it from the heart. Let your heart rest peaceful, knowing that your spiritual light is shining bright and growing deeply. Wow. Guys, this is such a beautiful passage and, you know, a beautiful ending to, you know, close out this reading. You know, feminines, you know, and masculines, if, if this resonates with you, just follow this guidance, okay? You, very soon you're gonna figure out what universe wants you to to do if, especially feminines if you don't know which direction to go to follow your heart it's gonna be shown to you soon okay so meditate okay get you a massage you know or take you a salt bath okay check out my bath bombs on my website guys and guys if you order a certain amount it's a fixed price so if if you order a bunch i'm i'm actually paying extra for shipping guys okay and sometimes i'll throw on an extra bath bomb for you if you order enough okay you know because i like to do that you know and give you guys freebies every once in a while so i really hope you enjoyed this reading let me know what you guys think and thank you again for liking sharing and commenting on this video and if you're new to my channel welcome i provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you'd like to book a personal reading you can visit me on my website it's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also uh 
you know, purchase the bath bombs from my website, you know, go ahead and, and take a look. And um, guys, next week, okay, uh, on the 21st, I'm going to be charging these crystals, okay? So next week, uh, I'll have these particular bath bombs ready. So they're not ready yet. I'm just waiting to uh, get the rest of uh, the puffy hearts and charge them on Sunday under the new moon. And hopefully uh, that will actually help you um, and be a nice little addition to your personal crystal collection. Because guys, you know, I, I keep mine in, in my bosom over here. It actually helps guys. My heart has been like more open lately. It's crazy. I actually like it. So, you know, and also if you like, you can follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.